Dasik Korean, Dasig lit. Tea food, is a bite-size hangwa that is normally accompanied by tea. It can be made by kneading grain or other edible seed flour or pollen with honey, then pressing them into a decorative mold called dasikpan. A dasik plate usually consists of an assortment of dasik of different colors, including green, yellow, pink, black, and white. Typical ingredients include, rice flour, pine pollen, black sesame, chestnut, and soybean. Topic. Varieties Bam dasik, bam dasik made of steamed and mashed chestnut, or chestnut powder from finely sliced and sun-dried chestnuts Geomenke dasik, geomenkai dasik made of toasted black sesame seed powder Kkae dasik, kkai dasik made of toasted sesame seed powder Kong dasik, kong dasik made of steamed and pounded yellow soybean Purungkong dasik, Pulungkong dasik made of steamed and pounded green soybean. Songwa dasik, Songwa dasik made of pine pollen. Ssal dasik, Sal dasik made of steamed, dried, toasted, and then pounded glutinous rice flour. Topic <inaudible> Origin. <inaudible> 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 The Dasik was introduced to Korea some 1,600 years ago from India was Buddhism and that included the tea culture, along with its religious practices and teachings. Tea was first influenced in the culinary culture of Korean royalty and later reached to the upper classes. Due to Korea's climate, it was unsuitable to cultivate, which it was difficult for the elite class to enjoy tea. For Buddhist ceremonies, it was usually prepared, making the temples the center of Korea's tea culture. The tea culture flourished during the Goryeo dynasty and promoted the virtues of Buddhism. During the Joseon dynasty (1392–1910), tea culture declined as the ruling class adopted Confucian doctrine. The tea culture from Korea eventually reached Japan, which embraced other cultural influences. Hardships of farming not only affected men, but women as well who looked after children and prepared meals after a long day of working in the fields. The government designated one day each month where culinary delicacies were prepared as a way to promote a healthy family life and to free women from some of their daily burden. These monthly celebrations included Seolol, New Year's, the first day of the first lunar month and Chuseok, Harvest Moon Festival, the 15th day of the 8th lunar month, when the harvest begins, making it the most abundant time of the year. During these holidays, ancestors were honored with food offerings and would pour alcoholic beverages in a ceremony called cherry, a name that came from serving tea or cha to ancestors. The offerings included meat, fish, fruit, and special delicacies, often decorated elaborately. Gokcha, a type of wine and was sometimes used instead of tea. Now, wine is more included instead of traditional tea. With families that emphasize formality, the color of the dasik is carefully chosen. The desired taste, color and texture are taken into account during the process of selecting the ingredients and the processing. Dasik arrangements are by color, served on a serving plate that reflects the artistic sense of the host and it sets the tone of the celebration. Dasikpan Dasik is shaped with a wooden or porcelain press that forms a patterned confectionery. The press is engraved with a design that forms an embossed pattern on the dasik piece. The design would symbolize the family's name in order to wish for a long life or for a special event, like wangup or 60th birthday or weddings. Press the dough into a dasikpan that has letters, flowers or a geometric pattern is embossed. The surface of dasik has letters, flower patterns, or Chinese letters show fu kung ning representing long life, luck, health and peacefulness. Two dasikpan forms one set. Its length is 30 to 60, width is 5 to 6, and thickness is 2 to 3. See also Bondo Sun <laughs>